I want to go over some of the latest revisions to Web Dealer and uh, the enhancements that we see in Web Dealer release 23.2. They've done three things. They've removed rejected title applications once corrected in RTS. So currently, if a Web Dealer title transaction is in rejected status, the transaction appears on the DMV rejected titles tab of the county's Web Dealer homepage. The transactions currently remain on this tab even after they have been corrected. So with this brand new release, rejected title applications are removed from the DMV rejected titles tab of the county's web dealer homepage when the rejection has been corrected in RTS. The once rejected transactions remain in web dealer but will be found under the approved status when searching the title search page and once the title has been issued, the title preview page will reflect as DMV release. There's a couple of other things they've done. They've added ability for motor vehicle dealers to process title transactions for off highway vehicles. Motor vehicle dealers can sell off highway vehicles such as all-terrain vehicles, recreational off-highway vehicles, and utility vehicles with their motor vehicle license. Previously, only motorcycle license dealers could title off-highway vehicles in Web Dealer. In this release, Web Dealer allows all motor vehicle dealers the ability to process title applications for off-highway vehicles. To process the title application for off-highway vehicles and motor vehicles, first of all, the odometer reading checkbox on the seller disclosure page will default to exempt, as you see on the bottom of the screen there. The off-highway use checkbox will be selected and grayed out by default. The type drop-down is required to select the type of off-highway vehicle, whether you're maybe trying to title an ATV, ROV, or UTV. If the off-highway vehicle has an existing Texas record, the type selection will be defaulted to what is reflected on the Texas record, but that can be edited. You're going to save the record. A blue check mark with off highway use only displays on the title preview page under the brand's remarks in the vehicle information section. And the sales tax information page will default to sales tax category to exempt and the reason as off highway. The remainder of the title application can then be completed. Another change has added weight fields to the buyer tag process. So the vehicle weight fields were added to the buyer tag issuance process in eTag for dealers. And this is to assist in determining the gross weight of a trailer to ensure a valid inspection has been conducted for any trailer that's over 7,500 pounds. So the following fields were added. They've got three of them here. Empty weight, the data entry, unless an existing Texas record is returned. The capacity weight data entry field, and that would be unless an existing Texas record is returned. And then the gross weight system calculated field, and that's going to be the empty weight plus the capacity weight. So I hope you find this short video informational. Once again, if you need to take your training course, to either get your dealer's license in the state of Texas or renewing your dealer's license in the state of Texas, you can go to texasdealers.com. Once again, that is texasdealers.com and click on that blue enroll now button. Or if you just want to watch some videos, you can click the dealer videos link as well. I hope you find this information very beneficial. Have a good day.